I want to do a little context about the Medusa system. If you have watched the videos I posted, you can see that what I'm posting is not for 99.999% of self-defense situations reasonable force. And that is how you will be judged if you do violence. If you claim self-defense, it's an admission that, yes, I did violence, I broke the law, but it was under reasonable force. Yet, I say this system is very valuable. And you might ask yourself, why? Well, for several reasons. One is it gives context for knife defense. When you look at how a uh, Medusa practitioner is trained to attack, you understand where your knife defense should begin. Being attacked with that much aggression. You can use safety equipment. You can use padded knives. Big puffy daggers are really great for this. Um, yes, they don't look like realistic knives and they're not metal and blah, blah, blah. But if you're gonna go aggressive, you need to be safe so you don't get a broken rib. If you hit the eye, you don't wanna blind somebody. So you wanna use safety equipment. When you do defend against that kind of aggression, you will find that if your attacker's coming in realistically, the best you can do is minimizing damage. What does that mean? It means you'll be stabbed. Okay, so secondly, the Medusa system teaches a very important aspect that we need to understand in combatives. It's better to act than react. If I let my aggressor be the first to move, then I'm likely going to fail. I'm likely going to be a victim rather than a survivor. I mean, if you survive, you're not a victim, regardless of what happens. However, if I allow my aggressor to attack first, I'm gonna be in trouble. Thirdly, if you understand how violence can be brought upon you, you will be less likely to engage in ego-based bullshit. If you're like, well, maybe I'll pick the wrong guy to go tee off on in a road rage incident. Maybe I'll pick the wrong person to verbally abuse because I'm pissed off. And maybe I should get my emotions under control if I have an anger problem. If you really look honestly at Medusa, it can really encourage you to take control over your own life and not let yourself be someone who has to stand up at an insult, someone who has to stand up to be righteous, self-righteous. Self-righteousness with the wrong person can get you killed. You need to understand that. And when you start playing with this system, you'll, you will realize quickly that, yeah, I better just be friendly, use de-escalation and avoidance and awareness as my, num my main web of personal protection, my main skills of personal protections. Personal protection is not fighting. If you think that, you have the wrong idea. The biggest things that can keep you safe in this world are not systems like Medusa. You need to understand that this is the absolute worst case scenario of violence. And it is very rare that you'd ever have to face something like that level of violence. You need to understand scales of violence and have the skills to scale your self-defense, your counter violence. Because if you don't, if you only have one level of force that you know how to use, then you're gonna get yourself in trouble if you ever have to defend yourself. If the Medusa system is not used in context with 
different scales of force, different levels of, of violence, right? Then you are just the same as the guy with a gun who doesn't train in martial arts and says, oh, I'll just use my gun. You, don't, you have more than one tool. A carpenter doesn't just have a hammer. Medusa is a hammer. You're not gonna use it to fix your car. You're not gonna use it to fix your computer. That level of violence is for one thing, murdering somebody. So if, this, if you're gonna base your self-defense on that, make it how to counter it, not how to do it. Because the time that it would be reasonable is very unlikely for any of us to face. The time, I, I believe that the time I would use that is something that I might find with about as much likelihood as meeting Sasquatch or ET, or maybe a little bit more, maybe about as much likelihood as getting a Chinese spy balloon dropped onto my head. Some people are really unlucky, right? And some people are really lucky. Some people win the lottery. It's not very, very likely. I don't buy lottery tickets. And some people have the worst case scenario of violence brought to them. But that's the context in which I train Medusa.